let me do this in simulation. I think it, this is a fun one to do in, in simulation because the FET simulation I was using before actually has a way to show, um, way to model internal resistance. So, uh, so you know, I'm not actually doing the problem the way it's meant to be answered, but let me do it in the FET simulation, kind of uh, what the problem is uh, getting at. Uh, DC virtual lab. So it's, uh, you know, the question is describing a simple circuit, a uh, battery with, uh, um, um, so open circuit voltage is the voltage that I would have set here. So nine volts and uh, it's connected to a load register or just a simple register with the resistance R. And let me say 10 ohm is R and it says, oh, wait, wait, internal resistance R. So I need to build this circuit with battery resistance of 10, oh, wait. So 10 is the maximum I can get to. So let me uh, call a uh, one ohm as the R. So I'm gonna set this register value to one ohm. And this is what the question is uh, describing. So initially when I set this up, there was some amount of current that flows. Uh, let me set up the ammeter here. And the situation, so initially there's a 4.5 ampere of current flowing. And this is actually half the current that normally would have been expected if it was an ideal battery because um, we are starting out with a realistic discretion of battery with the internal resistance. And the question is asking, as the battery uh, ages, the internal resistance is increasing to six times its original value. How does the current change? Well, so from 4.5 ampere, it changes to uh, 1.29 ampere. And, and you can do the calculation algebraically and see. So what you should get is the current decreases and it decreases by, uh, oh. can I do this in my head? Um, so before it was, uh, the voltage was overcoming total resistance of 2R and now it's overcoming resistance of 7R. So uh, it should be two divided by seven, uh, 0 0.286. So, um, so this is a kind of a number sense question or more realistic, yeah. <laughs> okay, so 